Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 15th to the 21st of March 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching oracle card for the week. What is the message, Angel Spirits Guides, for our lovely Sagittarians? 15th to the 21st. Okay, they're turning it over quite quickly. We have the Badger. Perseverance. Dig in and see it through to completion. Wow. Yeah, interesting message there, Sagittarius. We have... I mean, it feels very Nine of Wands energy as well, which is Sagittarian energy in itself, which is a card of perseverance. So, yeah dig in and see it through to completion if you're thinking about giving up on something the message is persevere you'll be thankful that you persevered okay message for sagittarius please angels spirits guides message for sagittarius please angels Spirit's guides. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, you see, it's following on from this. We have the best is yet to be. Good things have happened, but even better things will be presented in the future. So persevere. The best is yet to come. The best is yet to be. Um, wow. <laughs> That's a... a a very beautiful energy there. Okay, let's pull some cards, see what we get. I'm using Morgan Greer and Hanson Roberts this week. So what do we have for Sagittarius, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Sagittarians, thank you. 15th to the 21st of March, 2021. So as you know by now, you all know, I pull three cards. First card is the issue or challenge you face for the week. Second card is the advice from spirit. Third card is your future outcome. Then we clarify the cards, go deeper into the message and it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you. Okay, message for Sagittarius, please. There we have it. The Ace of Wands and the challenge position. Knight of Pentacles. Wow. Six of Swords. Oh my good oh my goodness, Sagittarius. I like those cards already. Okay. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? Angels, Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Sagittarians, thank you. 15th to the 21st of March 2021. Can we clarify the cards on the table, please? For Sagittarius, thank you. Goodness, you know, Sagittarius, Nine of Cups, the wish coming true, the heart's desire, you know, <sighs> beautiful. The Knight of Pentacles is clarified by the Six of Swords. We have two Six of Swords now. Six of Swords is clarified by the Queen of Wands. And we have the Strength card, card of Leo. I love the fact that Aries and Leo are making an appearance here. Um, male or female energy with the Queen of Wands. But, you know, um, it definitely feels for some of you. Uh, it's nice that the Fire family, and I, you do see that, just stick together, you know, help each other. Um, okay, so the message is persevere because you'll be pleased that you did. Yeah, because for some of you, Sagittarius, there is an opportunity, a wish coming true. You're going to get your wish. It's not quite there yet. It's not quite formed, but it's coming. So it's almost kind of like this Ace of Wands and the Aces are connected to your destiny. Remember, it's the hand of God touching, you know, the first step on the Minor Arcana journey. This is destiny. 
And the universe is saying, you know, it's coming. This wand for you, the fire energy of the wand as well, your element is coming. You're going to get your wish, the heart's desire. And it's interesting because, you know, this, this, this nine of cups can have a material aspect in the challenge position as well. Money, career, finances, materialism. Um, but it's not quite there yet. That's the challenge. But, you know, this is persevere and you'll be pleased that you did. Don't give up. Don't let things get on top of you. Don't allow yourself to be distracted by negativity, by thinking, oh, shall I give up on this line of, of, of you know, this path that I'm taking? No, the message is you are absolutely going in the right direction. You are absolutely on the right path. And it's towards a wish. A hope a dream coming true and this is also reasons to be thankful remember this is also a card of celebration so there's definitely an energy of you know you will be sharing those cups with you know friends family celebratory energy the celebration is coming the opportunity is coming and it feels like a specific opportunity and i'm definitely getting money career finances here i mean the cards feel very clear to me um but yeah it's coming. It's coming. And spirit is just reinforcing that. Where you're heading, you will have the opportunity to put these troubles behind you. The stress, the worry, the anxiety. And just feel that release. That you're moving to better times ahead. The best is yet to come. It is a period of transition. This can mean moving, relocating as well. It can be moving for jobs, relocating. Um, it could be moving home, you know. I mean, it can, it can be about transition energy or physically moving. Um, it's not linked, just limited to that. It can be a card of you're going through change. The change is happening. You're going to find the right direction. The worst will soon be behind you. And what's coming is absolutely the opportunity. Someone making you an offer. Yeah, someone is going to make you an offer, an opportunity. Um, this can be to do with contracts, uh, clients, new business, money coming your way for whatever reason, job offers. But nevertheless, you know, it might well also be for some of you that you might have decided to do some kind of career change. I mean, it's not limited to that, this reading, but, you know, some of the cards can link in with some career change. Or, you know, if you've decided, oh, I'm going to just try this, give this a go. And then you're thinking, oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is for me now because, you know, should I stick to what I'm good at? You know, it can be that kind of energy. The message is you're going in the right direction. So for those of you who've considered some kind of career change or career path change, you know, the offer, the opportunity is coming your way. Um, and it's going to bring solid change for real growth, material success. Um, very, very nice energy indeed. But, you know, the Knight of Pentacles is a hard work energy. It's a mundane energy as well. My goodness, this can be a lot of paperwork, a lot of, you know, um, reporting, a lot of, you know, uh, detail to, to sort through, a lot of, feels a bit like Groundhog Day, you know, but it's coming. The opportunity is coming your way. So you might resonate with that, Sagittarius. Because, you know, the Queen of Wands, I kind of see this as you um, in some ways. I mean, this can be somebody, could be a fellow fire sign even, offering you an opportunity. She is holding the wand. And it definitely is saying that that's what you're sailing towards. The change is coming. You're going in the right decision, you're in the right direction. You're not quite there yet, Sagittarius. Um but you're absolutely heading towards better times. And the Queen of Wands can be somebody, a leader, a natural leader, male or female energy, offering you an opportunity. Um, but this can also be, I see this as you holding the, the wand. I see this as you holding the wand as well, Sagittarius. 
um, you know, it's a general reading. So I, I can see this energy of the offer you hold in the wand. You being in your power. And I love the look on that Queen of Wands face, you know, the satisfaction. I've got it. Yeah, it definitely feels very beautiful. So stay strong, stay in your power because you have the power. The resoluteness, this is about being resolute here. And also the persuasiveness, the charm, the charisma. You know, if there's some communication going on here, because there are some communication energies in these, this, these cards, um, you have the persuasion, the charisma, um, but also the knowledge, you know, to really rise to any challenge and overcome it by being in your power. So this is about rising up, stepping up, rising up, keep on going, being resolute in the path that you're on because it's leading towards the opportunity. I love the energy, love, love, love the energy. Okay, final message for Sagittarius, please. Final message for Sagittarius. Okay, we've got lost and found. It means many things to many people, the lost and found card. Um, you know, if there has been some loss here, if that has been the stress, anxiety, worry that you've been going through, uh, there is definitely an energy of the stress, anxiety is, is going to be over. You're putting it behind you or soon will do. Uh, it is the transition that you're going through, but you're heading for better times ahead. Lost and found. What was once lost is about to be found thanks to the lost and found fairy. Sometimes she can help us find things we never even realized were lost. I mean, this can also be about you, <clears throat> the, the, the discovery of self, you know, discovery what you're capable of. Dig in and see something through because you'll be pleased that you did. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Sagittarius. You know, it's beautiful, beautiful energy. Um, if you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful, wonderful week for you all. And I will see you next time. Thank you.